Hi, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to test a quick cut thermostat. This happens to be the um, Quick Therm T105 model and what it consists of is a body, a temperature adjustment uh, lever there and then the copper probe which goes inside the geyser and then the terminals which actually would connect to the element. This is where the geyser element would be. So how do you test this thing? Right. The tool you'll need to do this test is a multimeter and maybe a copper wire or even just a screwdriver. And how it will how we'll do this test is by using the continuity measurement on your multimeter. Now, every multimeter has a continuity uh, test, which is a measure of short circuit. So if I touch these two terminals together, or these two probes together, it should make a buzzer or a, an alarm. Now that tells me it's a short circuit. For example, if I go like that on the screwdriver and I touch on that side and that side, it's telling me it's a short circuit, which it is because it is a single piece of metal. And this uh, little um, fly lead here is literally just a short circuit. So I'm going to connect on the one side to the other telling me it's a short circuit. Okay, so we've established what continuity is. Now, in order to test a thermostat, you are actually literally just doing a continuity measurement. Now, if you're in, if you're in a hurry and you just want to know how to test it and you're not interested in the principle of operation, well, let me just show you what to do. Right, so you will short out the terminals there. There's no risk of shock. This is a thermostat, which means it's a passive device. This is not a source of electricity. You connect the electricity, the positive and the negative there. So while it's disconnected, there is no shock hazard. So you're just shorting it out. And now what you'll do is you'll put your leads, one on that side and one on this side, where you would have connected the supply cable, live and neutral. And you can see how the meter is screaming there. And it switched off. And what I did is I adjusted the thermostat to less than 15 degrees. Now, in the room temperature right now, it's cold. It's in autumn now. So it's actually quite cold. There it is. So it's now, if I increase this lever here to say 50 or 60 degrees, you can see that the meter is screaming, telling me that it's a closed circuit. Now, what is actually happening there is if the temperature of the thermostat is set very low, it becomes an open circuit, which means inside here, the contact is actually open, which stops current from flowing here, which means current will not flow in your geyser element, meaning the thermostat is off. So that's the off position. And now as I increase this lever here, above the ambient temperature or the temperature that is being picked up by this probe here you can see that the thermostat is now in a closed position allowing current to flow through therefore the thermostat is actually working there we go so it is working it is able to close the thermostat is closing and it is able to open so to test the thermostat you want to know that it is uh, has the ability to open and it has the ability to close so that is a very quick test on how to uh, check the quick cut thermostat but if you are interested in a more detailed explanation and exactly how this thing works and 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 also to test uh, if it actually changes in temperature then you carry on watching because I will open this thing up. I'll explain to you the principle of operation and I'll also heat this up, showing you how the temperature is affected, um, the opening temperature is affected by the temperature that is measured over here. Right, now I'm going to uh, demonstrate how this actually works. I'm going to open this up and I'm going to explain the principle of operation. Right, so here you have the probe. Currently, let's set this thermostat. Let's set it, uh, let's put it... to uh, 30 degrees. So I've set it to 30 degrees. And as you can see, it's a, let's close this so it stays on. The probes are now in there. And the reason why the meter is making that sound is it's telling me it's a closed circuit. So that means that if you had to draw a diagram, the The circuit looks like this. There is the supply, well that's my multimeter and current is flowing and the thermostat is in the closed position. It's really just a switch and current can complete the circuit and that's why the meter is screened. 
Right. So what is happening now is I've set it to 30 degrees. That means that the, this will stay closed until this uh, probe has about 30. Now, the reason I'm using the word about is because of something called hysteresis, which looks like this. When we look at the, um, the response of the thermostat, we're going to see it offers this response. So even though you set it at 30, the thermostat may not open at exactly 30 degrees and it may not close at exactly 30 degrees. There's some overshoot and undershoot. So anyway, what is going to happen is I'm going to heat up this thermostat probe here. And when it gets above 30 degrees, it should open circuit here, which means this noise should go away. So I'm just going to use a lighter to speed this up. And this would have been in your geyser. So what would happen is the boiling water would, would eventually um, uh, cause this heating effect as the element is heating the water. Now at about 30 degrees, we're going to find that this uh, thermostat should open. Now keep in mind it's got a con ah, there we go. Keep in mind it's got to conduct that heat along the shaft all the way into the what's probably a bimetal um, material here, which the one metal is uh, is a different uh, different metal. The other, and you can see how it's already opened. So it's now below thirty degrees. Now let's heat this up a bit more again. So this is proving that this thermostat is actually working. And if you really want to get technical, you can come with a, th uh, a, th uh, a measurement and I can actually measure it. And I can see that the, the measure of this is at 23 degrees. So it's going to open almost shortly. It's going to open shortly because there we go. See, because it's now under uh, the 30 degrees. And if I really keep this here for long, and maybe take it to 40 degrees, well then it would stay open for much longer. You see now, the thermostat is in the open position. So what that means is it's actually stopping current from flowing in the, let's say this would be the element, allowing the water to now actually cool down according to the amount you set here. Now if I rotate this higher, maybe to 50 or even 60, you can see how it's, it's activating the thermostat to, to close. The thermostat is now closing, allowing current to flow in what would be the element here. So that is showing you, yeah, I see, so that's about 40 degrees, yeah. So that is showing you how the, the uh, thermostat is actually working. And now let's have a look inside. So I've explained to you the continuity measurement and I've uh, adjusted the temperature to see that it works. Now, remember that if you're trying to set your Thermostat. That is not an easy process because you would have to work out in terms of this hysteresis curve uh, where to set it. Because if you set it to open at exactly 30 degrees, you will find that the heating will actually go a little bit more and then cool down. So it's actually not an easy job to just set it. Now to open this therm uh, this cover, you just got to put your screwdriver in there, uh, there, and just over there over there and then you'll see that this cover actually comes off now be very careful because once you open this you can lose the calibration because if i fiddle with this knob here how do i know uh what the temperature is now because when i put it back on here i've now lost the calibration so be be aware that if you open this to look inside do not rotate this and do not rotate this otherwise you will lose the calibration so i've just lost the calibration of which i do know how to reset it but i'm just giving you uh, awareness of that now what you'll see inside here let's have a look you'll see a bunch of conductors now the one side is just call, call it like a slave side it, it, it's really just a conducting piece of uh, metal so let's see there we go Okay, so this side here, all it is, is literally a terminal connected to a copper um, strip, followed by a connection to the terminal. And there's the, you could actually test that. There is the terminal, and there is the connection to your neutral, and there's the terminal, which would go to the thermistor, uh, the element. So that is just a short circuit. But on the other side is where you have this plate which actually moves 
depending on the temperature setting you've had you have you can hear it right so there's opening and closing and that is is uh, spring loaded let's say and then here is the terminal and there is the uh, terminal where you connect your uh, live and as we adjust the temperature you can see how you're actually just opening or closing this side which happens to be the live so that is why you connect the live here so that you're actually opening and closing the live side it's very important that the thermostat is connected in the correct way you don't put neutral on that side you put live i'm uh, sorry you don't put live on this side you put live on the, this the opening side we open and close the live there we go so there we can see that it is working and what is actually happening is the heat conducts through this copper rod into the body and then if you look closely there is a connection here and there is a spring loaded almost like a leaf spring and that changes its its uh, I, will say, I, don't to, I don't want to say springiness but it changes its character expansion characteristic which then determines if it's open or closed the circuit so that's it that's how you test in uh, the the quick cut thermostat you also now know the principle of operation you know the connections you know what these things are for and um, you know how to adjust it now that i've opened it i've uh, now stuffed up the calibration and this is actually working although now uncalibrated it would need to be calibrated and i hope this is helpful thanks for watching cheers